right, David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience. We are back at one of our favorite places in New York City, maybe even the world, New York City's Turnbull and Asser. You know it's a haven for Bond. You've seen our vlog. If you haven't, we'll put the link in below. And I'm here seeing one of my favorite people, Daniel. Daniel, good, good to, to see you again. Good to see you again. Did you, have you survived the horde of Bond fans that saw you last time? Well, you know, actually, we very much appreciate you guys and, you know, the video. We have actually had a couple of gents come in. Oh. There's one that saw the video and I unfortunately wasn't able to serve them and they saw me downstairs and I thought I was a rock star for a minute. He was starstruck. You are a rock star. You're, you're no, no, no. well known, and that's why I wanted to make sure he was here. Here, come on out from under there. Thank you. And thank you. Um, so, Daniel, let me tell you what I'm looking for today because I wanted it to be a, a quieter moment. Um, I want to get fitted for a shirt, and I don't want just any shirt. I want Pierce Brosnan's shirt from Tomorrow Never Dies. Gorgeous. I want you? the right fabric, the right color, the right collar, and I know that you don't have this sitting on a shelf anywhere. Yeah. Absolutely not. So um, so for that shirt, we're going to do a beautiful powder blue Sea Island cotton. Um, and with that, that's going to have our classic Tourmaline and Asser collar. Mr. Brosnan did do both a double cuff and a three button cuff. But for Tomorrow Never Dies, uh, after a little research, we know we're going to go with the, the double cuff for you. Perfect. Double so, cuff. Yeah. Um, what kind of collar do you think? Yeah. So uh, it's going to be our classic Tourmaline and Asser collar, which is a semi spread, has a lovely little curve to it, so it sits perfectly on your clavicle. Okay. And it's actually really great to wear open, like uh, like this more casual shirt that you're wearing today, right. or of course with your Tomorrow Never Dies tie, also from Turnbull and Ashley. They have available for some crazy reason. I don't know yeah. what that is. <laughs> great, so we're not doing it here. We have a special area for this, right? Right, so we're gonna do a full bespoke fitting oh. for you. Okay. So, uh, so that means your pattern is gonna be made by our pattern maker here in New York, Thank and you. it'll be sent off, and the in all the measurements are from you. We're not starting with, uh, with, a, with a shirt that already exists or anything like that. So, and this um, is the Bond experience, correct me if I'm wrong, but Daniel Craig and Pierce Brosnan, they obviously had bespoke, they had a pattern made. Yes, so, well, also both of those gentlemen were customers before they were, um, had, to, had to be fitted for, the, for the films, yes. um, especially Mr. Brosnan. Um, and then uh, last time I was here, I, I think I told the sort of <laughs> a tale that we had to refit Mr. Craig's oh, uh, Casino Royale shirts, because he, uh, he bulked up a bit. Too too much, yeah. and and so we had to fly out to do make that too much take too much chicken. Yes, yeah. far you know far too much. So, <laughs> um, and and uh, but yeah, all all of a uh, even if um, we didn't do all of their shirts for um, their films, every Bond has been the Terminal and Nasser customer. Right. You know, even even last week. Yeah, that's right. Even lazy day, wow. All right, so let's go to it. Let's do it. All right, All right. I think you have an introduction to make of somebody. Yes, yeah, so uh, this is the bespoke room here at Terminal and Nasser, and I'm going like to introduce uh, you, David, to Eddie Powers. He is our Pleasure. pattern maker for all of our bespoke shirting here in New York. Wonderful. So um, Eddie trained with our master pattern maker in London, and we are very happy to have him here Excellent. to uh, to solve all of our shirting needs. Yes, well, thank you for taking on the challenge. Seems <laughs> <laughs> pretty symmetrical. I'm, I'm okay. okay yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, is this how you tend to wear your shirts? You like to wear a. Um, no, I wear them fitted. This is kind of just hot day, billowy. Okay. Because linen shirts tend to be a, more, sure. a bit more loose. That's so right. If you like it, this sort of fit, I'd call that a medium close. Okay. Do a medium close fit for you. Not too, not too tailored, not too. Yeah. So, uh, do you tend to wear a tie? Um, haven't a bit. So we'll skip in the sixteen, please, Tom. The color. This front yoke is six inches, please. Six and a quarter, actually. Natural waist, seventeen and a half, please. Back yoke, eighteen and three quarters, please. Yes. 
Now the length of the shirt, so this is good for wearing out. Okay. If you do wear a shirt, um, is this going to be for tucking in? Yes. It is. Yes. So would you, is this where you tend to wear your trousers as well, where the fork of your trouser tends to be in the crotch? Like there? Yeah. So I don't want the shirt to be any further than that. So right, because then it'll bunch up and yeah, everything. Yeah. So I want to sit nice and snug. So, I mean, the, the length of the shirt is good. I want to just give it maybe half an inch more. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. So, we're doing like a double cuff as well, Kenny, so it would be more appropriate for this thing, for the shirt, excuse me, to be a yeah. more quote unquote business or day shirt style. Mm. So we'll do 27 and 3 quarters, please, for the I do give you just a bit of slack here for okay. the blade, so I mean right now I'm getting forty-two and a half, so it does change. But we don't need to give you that much slack because we're doing a medium close, so we could just keep it to forty-two and a half then. Of course, we could change the noise. Long to us, I'm just your bicep questions. It's not got a little butt. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's a little. It's a, it's a debate, yeah. Um, I tend to go for this, yeah. This is sort of the thickness of there's, there's a slider watches, but even my slider watches aren't that much slider. Okay. You're doing a French cup. Mm -hmm. That's right. So. Eleven and a quarter, please. Ten and a half on the right. 
Okay, so I've had every inch, millimeter, centimeter, whatever you want to call it, um, measured, and now we're on to a different part of the process. Yes. So we're on to my favorite part, collars, cuffs, fabric selection. Now you have something very specific in mind. Okay. You want to replicate the shirt from Mr. Brosnan, yes. Tomorrow Never Dies. So it's going to be our beautiful light blue Sea Island cotton here. Oh. So. Uh, so it's an extra long staple cotton, uh, grown in Egypt and woven in Italy for you. Beautiful. And then we will do the classic semi-spread TNA collar. Fantastic. So um, a favorite for us as well. And then uh, even though he did choose both a double cuff as well as a three button cuff, we would like to do the double cuff for you. Wonderful. So, you know, beautiful classic selections and uh, and a classic terminal answer shirt for you. I love it. Now, we're going to cheat a little bit. Obviously, when it comes in, I'll do a full fit of what it looks like. But tell us what the process is. You put all this in, um, you know, I pay my hard earned cash, and then what happens? So, uh, Mr. Powers, who measured you, makes you a paper pattern. Okay. Um, right, you know, on the other side of the store. So, it is created and it is flown over to our factories in Gloucestershire, England. Wow. Um, and then from there, they digitize the pattern because uh, we do hand cut all of our garments, but you don't want to hand cut on the actual paper pattern, the original paper pattern. Right. So we do a digital uh, version. It also has a little bit of tactileness to it, so it sticks ever so slightly to your fabric to make sure we get accuracy. And then um, one of our wonderful crafts, you know, people, um, they, uh, tons of ladies and gentlemen who have actually been here longer than most of the associates right. in uh, in the company, you know, they can uh, craft your shirts. So everything is done by machine, but everything is hand guided. Uh, there is no automation in our, right. in our shirt. Making. How long is that process? So I always say uh, six weeks for us here uh, in the United States, just because uh, we do always have to fight Uncle Sam's and customs. Yes. To 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 get all to get our process, all, all of our products over. But um, but yeah, we uh, so it's always generally about a six week turnaround time for you. Great. And we just send it straight to your house, um, and we ask you to wash and wear the shirt. A minimum of three times. So what that does, it allows the shirt to settle and shrink. Okay. Because uh, we build in shrink allowances. Everything is 100% cotton, so um, it, it does shrink on you. And um, and so and from there, we assess the fit. Uh, typically speaking, we uh, we usually can get things in within one or two samples. Right. Uh, it's very common for us to do what's called a sample and uh, remake sample and complete, where we complete the rest of your order as well as you know just do a little bit of a nip or tuck here and there. Fantastic. So. Excellent. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. For the sake of everybody watching out here, you're not going to have to wait six weeks because we're going to fast forward to when I get the shirt in the mail. So let's take a look.
Okay, I wanted to show you very quickly um, how this comes. First of all, you won't be able to appreciate this, but um, the paper, it's, oh, you can kind of see it. The paper itself, you can see it is custom. It's got collars and cuffs, and some of the collars and cuffs match, who cares? But check this out. Inside, you've got this. It's really cool bag. Um, with this magnetic clasp that keeps everything in together. And please excuse my uh, Guerrilla Warfare filming, but uh, here it is. Very cool bag. And inside we have the shirt. It says by Royal Appointment. And oh, 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 oh look at that. Very cool. All right, so uh, now to wash and try this puppy on. All right, here it is on, and I've got to tell you a couple things right off the bat. First of all, I did not wash this. It's supposed to be washed three times, or laundered, if you will, three times. There's going to be a little shrinkage after that, but I couldn't wait, and I didn't want to wait to show you this too. So um, there may be a little bit shrinkage, but honestly, it fits perfectly. In fact, Turnbull and Asser said, David, you want to come back for another fitting? We'll nip, tuck it. It fits great. It It is the best fitting shirt I've ever had, which I kind of expect from Bespoke. I mean, after all, they did make patterns for me. Uh, as a matter of fact, take a look at these patterns. Yeah, how cool is that? That's my patterns. I don't know, I'm, I'm sort of geeking out here. And by the way, in case you didn't notice, being Mr. Detail, uh, I'm standing in front of Tomorrow Never Dies, the display, because this is the Di Tomorrow Never Dies shirt, Sea Island Cotton. First of all, let's get a little bit closer. Oh my gosh, the feel of this thing. First of all, that's the first thing you notice, is well before the fit is when you're trying it on. It's almost squeaky. I mean, it's silky, but it's Sea Island Cotton. And that's the quality of the Sea Island cotton. It's so incredibly soft, which, uh, oh my gosh, you know, Ian Fleming, all through the bonds, really loved and appreciated the Sea Island cotton. And by the way, for all of you detail-oriented people, let's see if this comes out. I even have the uh, Dunhill cuffs that he wears from Tomorrow Never Dies in here. Now, forgive me for the Spectre watch. I should have put on the Omega watch. I don't know why I didn't. Probably because it's upstairs in my wife's collection. And that's okay. So let's talk about the fit. As you can see from the side, I'll put my arms down. It fits amazing. The sleeves, it gives the room for the watch that I had asked for. Um, but the sleeves are a perfect, perfect length. I just went off camera. How are you doing? Uh, fits great here. Doesn't have any ballooning. Hate, hate the flying squirrel look. None of that, the bat wings, nothing. Let's take a look at the back. The back fits perfectly. I've got kind of a big back, so I like the fact that it doesn't feel like it's cinching in. And look, you know me by now. I've worn things that were much tighter than this, relatively comfortably, but this shouldn't fit tight. That's not the look of this. This is a, a wonderful dress shirt that I'll wear with a blazer, a sports jacket, certainly a suit. And so I don't want it to be, you know, cinching on me, looking like it's going to tear off from me. Let's get a little bit closer so you can see the design. Now, I didn't button the top button, but I certainly would uh, if I was wearing this out. But I was just being relaxed because it's a little hot out. The collar stays make the collar stand up really proudly. I mean, look at how crisp that is. And, and the shoulder line. I mean, the shoulder line, really natural. I would imagine that even if somebody had sloped or pyramid shoulders, they would make do. And, and don't forget what uh, they did when they were measuring me. They really took into mind, you know, the fact that I kind of did a little bit of slouch, which I'm, I'm working on, I promise you. But they also did a lot for uh, taking out, you know, if one shoulder was uh, higher than the other, elbows, everything, and it really shows. I mean, my gosh, this thing fits so well, and it's, again, it, no undershirt right now. It is unbelievably comfortable. Now, I wanna show you something, though, because 
as good as it looks like this, I want to show you the length of the shirt itself. So we're going to do a little bit of magic and we're going to show it untucked. All right, so this is specifically just to show you that this tail, the end is not too long. You know, some of the uh, dress shirts that you see out there are like dresses. They, they fit down to the knees. This is not. This goes down to lower than the butt, so it's not going to ride out of the pants. But you can see right here, it's perfect. It's the perfect length. And we specifically talked about that at Turnbull and Asser that we didn't want it too, too long because I hate then all the fabric bunches up in there and nobody likes that. Okay, let's head back to the tucked in version. All right, we're back from that. Looking clean again, pushed everything in. By the way, for those eagle eye observers, we talked about the Spectre watch. I'm wearing a little bit of everything bond wise. I've got um, the, uh, the Prada belt from Quantum of Solace that he wears, the uh, cross thatch belt. So, I mean, I've got a real amalgamation. It's not a total tomorrow never dies, but I wanted to show you this shirt really quickly. All right, I've got to, I've got to mention a couple of things. First of all, you saw the experience walking into the store. You saw the level of detail, the, the heritage really come out. You saw the, the customer service. Post this discussion, you wouldn't believe the customer service, the amount of communication, uh, which I'm not going to bore you, but by email and by phone many times, and, and not just Daniel, but, but many other people at Turnbull and Asser to really embrace you and make you a part of the experience, not just the Bond experience, but Turnbull and Asser's incredible history. Uh, you feel like you're a part of the, sorry for the pun, the woven fabric of everything that they've become, whether you own a piece or you just walk into the store and have a conversation with them. And that's that's the other thing. Turnbull and Asser, whether you're in London, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, it is not the type of place where you have to come in and buy something. Would they appreciate that? Yeah, I think so because they want to stay in business. But it's not a mandatory rule. They love people to come in and appreciate the environment, the experience, the, the engagement that they've created. So go to it. Um, I love the one in New York City. Love the one in London. It's got those roots. But go check it out. I'm so happy with this bespoke shirt. And by the way, I've got to show you the, the envelope one more time. All right. So check this out. I mean, come on. This is so cool. I could absolutely see myself traveling with this uh, if I had to pack the shirt. Or you could actually probably fit uh, a couple shirts in here. It's got the magnetic clasp. And I showed you this before when the package came in, when that wonderful, wonderful uh, delivery man uh, threw it uh, at my garage. But these are the types of details. You can see kind of the wonderful lettering there that I've come to really appreciate from some of the Bond brands that we know and love, and especially some of the luxury ones. So, uh, sorry, Sea Island Colony is crazy. It's just like beeping as I, as I touch it. What the hell does that mean, David, beeping? Never mind. maybe we'll take it out of edit. Maybe we won't. Anyway, wanted to show you this experience, wanted you to uh, have a sense, have a taste of it yourself. This has been David Zaritsky for the Bond Experience, again, thanking all the people at Turnbull and Afficer for this wonderful shirt. And I think I'm gonna go relax in it because it's that type of a shirt. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you wanna be up on the latest from the Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're gonna get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.